afternoon and welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name's Mark and I'm going to take you for a walk around our 2015 HSV R8 LSA Club Sport this afternoon. We'll start off at the front of the car and assume that it's just a stock standard car but as we go through the video you'll realise that it is not just a stock standard. At the front we've obviously got all of our body kit being a club sport, front parking sensors in our, our bar there, daytime running lamps, obviously the distinctive black front which does give it a really good feel. As we move around to the driver's side, as you can see there's been a slight alteration to factory so we've got the rapier black forged alloy wheels over $2,000 worth of value just in those wheels. Obviously our distinctive red HSV calipers, basically as new tyres, um, and they are, are running Continentals all round on this car, so definitely the tyre of choice. Does have uh, proximity keys, so uh, access to the car is just by the buttons on any of our four doors as well. And then our distinctive black club sport badging on the bottom of our right hand front, uh, right hand rear door. As we move around to the back of the car, one thing I haven't touched on, as you can see, there is not a single mark on this car. As we move around to the rear, obviously, once again, all of our distinctive chrome badging, and you can see the Walkinshaw 557 badging on the left-hand side there, which we're going to talk about a little bit later in the video. Reverse cameras, standard reverse parking sensors as well. Clear tail lights give it that really good look. We've got the black lip spoiler as well. And now as we move around to the passenger side of the vehicle, obviously the consistency in the paintwork, this is, would have lived in a garage, this car. It's only done 11,000 kilometres, so it's basically as new. The other couple of additional things they've added from an exterior point of view, we've got the black roof there as well. So, um, you know, once again, there's another investment there. The black roof recommended retail $550. And then, of course, the sunroof added as well with a recommended retail of $1,990. So that's just the start of what, what you're going to see to be a really exciting motor car. The front of the car now, and as we discussed, this is where you're going to see the real point of difference in this car. Once we lift the uh, bonnet, the first thing we go to is on the side there, Walkinshaw badging. That's the official badging to tell you this car has been to Walkinshaw. So it's got the 557 package, which has a recommended retail price of $14,990. So we've got the ceramic coated headers, the dual active cat back exhaust. We've got the Walkinshaw cold air intake, obviously high flow injectors. Uh, the up-spec camshaft and valve spring upgrade, obviously all of that gives it 557 kilowatts of power and 930 newton metres of torque, so you're not just looking at your standard club sport here, you're looking at a monster. And at the rear of the car now, we'll have a little bit of a look in the boot area. As you can see with the uh, VF, uh, a slightly different structure to, to it, the way our boot lid comes up, rises right up out of our way. Massive storage area in the back. I don't know that there's ever been any luggage in here because this is literally brand new in here. Our cargo netting there as well, just for when we, well, you'd never take this down the shop to be quite honest. And uh, obviously our battery stored in the back there as is with all the VFs, um, once again as new. Here we are inside the Club Sport now, and this is probably the only part of this car that is standard. Um, on our driver's armrest, all of our power window switches and our controls for our exterior mirrors. Manual lock and unlock buttons on the two front doors as well. Auto headlights in this model. Uh, being the L LSA or the R8, does have the heads up display as well. So we can read our, read our speed we're travelling at outside the windscreen or it's inside the windscreen, but it looks like it's right out the front of the car. Height and reach adjustable steering wheel at our disposal. Just lever up back into the locked position. Then on our, on our driver's or our steering wheel, which is leather wrapped, all of our audio and Bluetooth controls on our right hand side. On our left hand side, all of our cruise control settings, lane departure warning and forward collision mitigation warning as well. As we mentioned, push button start because it is proximity key. And then moving into the multifunction screen, satellite navigation, as you can see up on display now. Reverse camera, as we mentioned earlier. 
and look at the clarity of the picture behind us, it's perfect, quite overcast, so still gives you a really good indication. Uh, back into neutral, and that'll automatically just go back to navigation. Uh, once our Bluetooth is hooked up through our phones, it does support audio streaming as well, and then all of our master, master control buttons there. Climate control air conditioning at the front here. We've got that running at a fairly good speed at the moment, but it's extremely quiet in its operation. Then we've also got a 12, 12 volt outlet there at the front. A little coin tray here, there, here, there. A little coin tray there. Uh, six speed manual gearbox and uh, the clubbies do actually run a really good gearbox in conjunction with a very lightweight clutch. We can also alter the driver mode just by use of this button here. So I can go from sport to performance or even back to touring if I wish to. Obviously with the catback dual exhaust, it does alter the note that the exhaust is giving us as well. On our left hand side here, uh, we can turn our reverse parking sensors off if we don't want them beeping. And then we've also got reverse park assist as well if required traction control button in the middle of our knob there which I didn't mention and then electric park brake on our right hand side. Generous cup holders there as you can see. As I mentioned the key can stay in your pocket. Doesn't need to leave, leave your pocket or your bag for that matter. And then in, inside our console lid here as you can see we've got auxiliary and USB plus another additional 12 volt outlet there as well. Lock nut for our wheels also which can come inside with me after the video. Now we'll scan around the interior and as you would expect, um, as I mentioned earlier, only 11,000 kilometres so we're basically sitting in a demo car. Um, not a mark on any of the leather and suede seats, obviously leather infills in our door trims as well. Uh, we've got all of our carpets are protected by the factory car mats also. Um, one other thing I didn't touch on earlier is that uh, it does have premium sound as well, this car. So uh, is supported by Bose sound, which gives us a really good sound, as you can see. Also does have six airbags, this car. So front side and curtain airbags does give it a five star ANCAP safety rating as well. And uh, last but not least, we'll just touch on it now. Factory sunroof, as you can see, I've just touched the button there and it does open it up completely uh, automatically. Last but not least, uh, of course, something like this goes to the Walkinshaw factory. As you would expect, you've got all your authenticity certificates here as well. And that's probably a really good one, just on the top there on our right hand side. Nobody knows performance like Walkinshaw, so um, certainly a really big investment that was made by uh, the original owner of this car. We will have a quick look at the service history as well. Obviously, you wouldn't expect, we'll just close that roof back off because there's a little bit of rain around. Wouldn't want to get this car wet on the inside at all. So, first registered on the 22nd of March 2016. So, under new car warranty until that same date in 2019. And then as you'd expect, this car's only been serviced by time not kilometres because it's effectively done no work at all and Watson Holden have done all the services on this car so far in its life. This has given you a really good idea of the quality of our 2015 LSA R8 Club Sport and uh, you know I'm not going to go through all of the extras that I mentioned earlier in the video because it's just a stack of motor car. 557 kilowatts of power, 930 newton metres of torque. To give you an idea, if you compared it to a Lamborghini or a Porsche that you might pay a few hundred grand for, none to 100 in 3.8 seconds. Not that we'd ever test that. So give us a call on 9907 and one of our staff will be able to help you further. Happy to take your call myself as well.